The former Prime Minister, who is now amongst those camping in the opposition camp, spoke of the need for change. I think it's a, a clear message that enough of slogans, enough of rhetoric, enough of leap service. He claims James Marape's decisions is what has led the country into a state of recession. O'Neill believes Marape has mismanaged the economy, something those now surrounding O'Neill in opposition blamed him of doing when he was prime minister. No one in their right mind shuts down an operating gold mine when the prices are at the top of its peak, at $2,000 per ounce, I believe, in terms of gold. Nobody in their right mind. Of course, you can have tough negotiations, but that is mishandling, that is inexperience. Prime Minister James Marape, in a news conference yesterday, when questioned on what he would do if calls were made for him to resign, stated he knows the PM seat is not his birthright and would vacate the seat if needed. No, it's all politics in PNG. I'm not like uh, Belenama and Mr. Peter O'Neill who will fight unnecessarily. Uh, I'm a respecter of law. Uh, politics is numbers game. Uh, if you have number, by all means, this is not my bad right. But we will deploy every means possible, legal means and political means, to ensure that the government that people elected uh, is, through members of parliament, is uh, sustained in December. You know, political instability causes harm to our country. Prime Minister James Marape was one of Peter O'Neill's right-hand men in the close to 10 years they've shared working as members of parliament and members of the People's National Congress Party. Marape served in the top four senior economic ministries under O'Neill. His ultimate resignation of office last year triggered the movement that led to the downfall of his predecessor. Now O'Neill blames Marape for being incompetent in office. He spent eight years with me as one of my senior ministers. I thought he learned, but obviously he's been sleeping on the job. We've been given 10 years between us to manage our country. I think they've seen enough of us for the time being. It's time to go. I ask this important question. What will a government do in just 12 months before 2022? What will the government do? The question the country should be asking and holding these leaders accountable. Bradley Valenaki, National MTV News.